Hey guys, King SC here, also known as M. Um, thank you very much for tuning in to another video. Today I want to do a little bit of a channel update and pretty much just talk about a couple of things on my mind really and just update you guys on what's going on with the channel. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about is my mouse. So I currently have the Razer Mambo 2015 edition wireless mouse. Uh, this has 16,000 DPI and it also has Razer's 5G laser, laser sensor on here as well. Now, uh, my experience with this mouse has been absolutely awful <laughs> because it has died on me for the second time now. The sensor in, in, in particular has died twice now. So back in 2016, in May, I bought myself a Razer Mamba and the Razer Firefly mouse mat. That was the hard edition, so the plastic surface on top. So I bought those as a combo because it was a deal and I got the mouse mat for half price. Now, exactly one year later, I RMA'd the mouse mat as the surface was very bad. Uh, as I've explained in, in previous videos, there was lots of bumps across the uh, middle of the mouse mat, which of course isn't ideal in any mouse mat. There's like random bumps and lumps all, all over the mouse mat. So, so that wasn't good. I RMA'd the mouse mat, got another uh, hard surface one. Wasn't happy with that, so I made that one again, and this time I've got a, a cloth Razer mouse mat, which I'm very happy with. I would recommend the cloth Firefly. It's fantastic, you know, RGB lighting, and of course, a great mouse mat. So, uh, back to the Mamba. So I bought that with a combo, and exactly one year later, I had to RMA the mouse, because one night, the mouse was working fine, you know, there was no problems at all. I wasn't experiencing any tracking issues or anything really. No interference between the dock and the, and the mouse. It, it was all fine. <laughs> then one night I put the mouse on charge, as you usually do on the dock right there. So you know, it charges up overnight, then you can use it again in the morning. So I did that. I wake up in the morning and the mouse sensor is dead. Like, I think not only the sensor had died, but the entire mouse just somehow killed itself overnight. <laughs> Something went horribly wrong whilst charging it and it just died. So I went for like a couple weeks without a mouse. I had to get a new one, like a, like a cheap a five pound mouse just to use it temporarily uh, as my razor mouse had died. So I RMA'd the mouse uh, like a month later, I think I got a, a new one. It shipped out to me, uh, the exact same model, I think. So. Uh, it's been roughly seven or eight months since I've had this new mouse and this one's died as well Which is very annoying like come on guys. This is like a hundred and thirty five pound mouse and the sensor is Just awful. I was experiencing a lot of issues prior to the sensor actually dying on me uh, It was experiencing quite a few tracking issues. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was somehow a lot of interference between the dock and the, and the mouse so while in wireless mode the mouse would occasionally just become generally unusable because it just it wouldn't like transmit the signal from the mouse to the dock i guess or so god knows what happened but yeah the mouse was basically unusable in, in in wireless mode for a while so i switched to wired mode and that seemed to have solved the problem for the most part um, however, probably a couple of weeks after that, the sensor is now in this state, so yeah. Let me show you guys the actual problem with the mouse right now. The, the sensor, it does work, but just, it's not very usable anymore, so let me show you why. Um, right, so, we have the mouse here, and, right, <laughs> now and again, it, 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 it will work, so, however, <laughs> The, the sensor only moves up or down, so you can see I'm moving the mouse on, on the mouse pad right now. Nothing is happening. Uh, I can turn the mouse off, turn the mouse on again, I'm just going to restart. I can left click, I can right click, I can scroll, all that works fine, no problem. Uh, but the sensor is basically completely dead. Uh, so, my new mouse, or trackpad kind of thing, uh, is this. Uh, I downloaded an, an app on my phone uh, called Chrome Remote Desktop and there's also an app on, on, on Google Chrome that you have to download as well in order for this to work. So my phone is basically acting 
like a laptop trackpad, I guess. So if I <laughs> move my mouse around uh, on my phone, uh, it, it moves around on my PC as well. Now there's also a keyboard that I can activate on here as well. If I just make my camera focus, so we have a whole keyboard that I can use on here as well. Uh, if you guys could see anything, yeah. So there's the app, it's pretty cool. I mean, if you want to control your PC from anywhere in the world really, as long as you have an internet connection, uh, this app's pretty cool as it gets the job done. However, uh, in my case, this is basically my only uh, way of controlling my PC at the moment, as I don't have an alternative mouse that I can use anymore, as I've lost the USB receiver. So this is basically my new mouse, uh, a Chrome remote desktop app. Uh, yeah, very cool stuff. So that's the current situation with my mouse. And yeah, <laughs> I'm just controlling it with, I'm controlling my PC with my phone at this point, as the mouse is dead and, or basically unusable. <laughs> Right, so as some of you may already know, uh, CES 2018 is currently happening right now. And Razer, as always, every year they announce some pretty cool stuff in CES 2018. And this year, they've announced a new version of the Razer Mamba Mouse. Now, this one is very different to the 2015 model that I have here. Right, so Razer have developed a technology that they call Hyperflux, that pretty much powers the mouse mat by generating a magnetic field from a new version of the Firefly mouse mat. So the Firefly Hyperflux mouse mat generates a magnetic field around it that powers the mouse wirelessly. Now this allows the mouse to have no internal battery inside, which makes the mouse very light, which is always good. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. So the only drawback is, is that when the mouse is away from the mouse mat, it will turn off in roughly five to 15 seconds, I think. At least that's w w w what I've heard so far. So when the mouse is not on the mouse mat, it won't work. However, if you do want to use the mouse with no mouse mat, uh, the mouse, as always, does have a, a, a wire option as well. So you just plug a wire in to the front of the mouse, and then you can use it in wired mode without the Hyperflux mouse mat. But nevertheless, pretty cool stuff from Razer that they've announced a, a new mouse and mouse mat combo. So yeah. Uh, that releases in March 2018 and if you guys want, uh, let me know in, in the comment section down below. I can buy it. It is very expensive. It's, it retails for $250, which I'm guessing in the UK that will be £250 as well, unfortunately. But if you want to, I can buy it when it gets released. I, I can make an unboxing video, a review and stuff and give my thoughts on, 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 on the mouse and mouse and that combo. Just to tell you guys all about it. When it gets released so let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see that so that's pretty much all i want to talk about for today razor announced some pretty cool stuff in ces 2018 uh, my mouse unfortunately died as well which is <laughs> which is not very good but don't you worry i'm currently talking to razor's warranty team over email and i'm going to get my hands on either another razor mamba mouse which i don't want of course because this one's died on me twice already i'm going to try to convince razor's warranty team to send me over a razor lance head wireless mouse instead which is a slightly newer model of Razer's wireless mouses. So yeah, hopefully I get myself on the Razer Lance that I'm not another Mamba that will probably die on me in the next year or so. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much all. One more thing I, I want to mention is that I'm going to leave a straw poll uh, right here or there that you guys can uh, click on and vote what video goes live on the channel next. So that's pretty much it really. Uh, thank you very much for watching as always. Stay tuned for more videos to come very soon. Are you got to me?